Hey guys, Pierce Clugs here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing Evolution, or Evolution. Um, it's actually a pretty simple game. It's actually a simulator, and uh, it's going to be a little hard to explain. So, just as uh, things adapt to the environment, this is basically what this game is. So, you create your own creature. So, for example... Um, I'm actually going to piece together my own little creature. So here are the joints, and all I'm going to do is make a... We're going to make a square, okay? And we're going to attach the bones together, and this is... That's a rough looking square. But, uh, we are going to attach everything here with a muscle. So... Everything here will have a muscle, and uh, let's see, we can, I was going to say we could cross those muscles, but we actually can't. Yeah, there we go. Now we can, uh, we could stretch this, so it can be a parallelogram, um, and that is what we're going to do. So, to start the game off, you simply create your creature, and press evolve and what you see here is this is generation one so every generation they change and as you can see they're not really doing much uh, they're kind of wobbling around but it looks like they're making um, little movements here and there like you can see it see how uh, they kind of tumble but they start to move a little bit more like that one just scrunched um, I'm gonna show one at a time so you can see how they move. That's how the muscle con the contractions are uh, moving. So, uh, it's actually very simple. Every generation they learn a little bit more. So right now the best generation is 4 because 4 made the most progress. So now we're gonna see if 5 can make any progress. So 5 didn't make it. Oh, 5 did make it. So as you can see... Um, it's actually really, really cool. It's a cool little game. Uh, we're actually going to play around with it today. So, there are a few things we can try out. Uh, first thing I wanted to do was make the letter P, as in Pierce Clugs. And see what would happen if the letter P was to have its own form. If it had its own form, we can see how that goes. Um... Let's see what would happen if I... Okay. And we can actually delete that. And I'm going to move that joint over. Alright. So here's the bone structure. And those are all connected. And let's say we want to move this bone here. Or uh, connect these bones together. Um, and then we can do a large connection right there. And just see what happens. So here is... <laughs> that's the letter P. So there's not much to it. It's just kind of wobbling there for generation one. And it's not doing anything. Well, as you can see, it's starting to stretch. Um, also, there is a whole schematics right here of... Well, there's a lot of information showing the fitness over the next generations. The simulation time, the average speed... Um, number of muscles, number of bones, the weight. It is, like, really, really cool. Um, as you can see, they start to form into different shapes because they're trying to adapt to whatever uh, gets them the furthest. So, it's pretty cool. The letter P um, isn't going too far. We're actually going to speed up the duration because we don't have a ton of time. Um, but... This is all the simulations, or the simulated right now. And as you can see, their fitness starts to grow and grow and grow throughout the generations. However, that is not the best creature I've created. Um, I already had one pre-made that I was just messing around with this a little bit, just to see what it was like. And this is the coolest contraption I've ever made. And if you look, this is this seems pretty simple. You'll see in a minute why I'm very fascinated with this. 
but it takes a little bit of work. So the fitness is at uh, 212. And as you can see, he's kind of scrunching along, and he's mo he's using his muscles. Of course, in the fitness, it's growing a little bit more than the last few. So every time they're starting to get stronger and stronger and stronger and they start to adapt. So look, they start to fold and then they scrunch together. And it's it's really interesting. Like the game itself has a lot of variety to it. Um, something very simple, uh, not and it, plus it's free on itch.io. All you have to do is look up evolution and it will come up on itch.io and it's a little fun little game um, that you guys can play and it's nothing big it's just a really cool simulator so we can actually try some of these out and uh, this is a spider one that was pre-made if we look at some of these like you can see the spider's not doing too well well now the legs are starting to move or at least they're trying to <laughs> flop and flop all he's doing is flopping around right now <laughs> but all you see is they start to adapt which is really really cool and it's seriously a simulator where you can just sit back and relax because they kind of do their own thing and if we look generation 4 has a uh, 2.19% fitness now, I actually haven't tried 100% fitness yet to see what would happen. But I think it would be pretty cool. I'll have to try something else out. Um, but it's a ton, and I mean a ton, of cool, cool stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Another Game. We'll see how many games I can get in this week. Um, there's going to be, I believe, two videos this week. And one should be a live action if I can get one out. So we'll have uh, some fun stuff. Also, um, I want to thank Stardew SMP for the upcoming Season 2, which I keep hinting at because Season 2 is going to be great. Season 2 is going to be awesome. And I hope you guys will be able to stay tuned for Season 2. Um, also, I would recommend that you check out on Twitch a uh, Twitch streamer called Omits. I've actually been moderating his chat for a while, but it's a uh, cool little Twitch stream, and it's really chillax, and it's just something to get me through the end of my day. So thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.